So we're in an area called Escondido, which is the north county of, of San Diego, in the county of San Diego. And this is a pretty desirable neighborhood here. It's, it's on the west side of, of Escondido, near Erica Lake Hodges, and it's very desirable. But you see this, we're on the main road right here. This is the main road with the cars. So as we pick up that traffic and stuff, that can be a deterrent to your buyers. So you wanna make sure that you account for that when you're doing your numbers and you're analyzing your deals, that this is you know a busier street. So you wanna discount you know, $10,000, $20,000 off your potential ARV, because maybe you're comping houses that are you know, within a, a half mile radius, but they're in a secluded street, all cul-de-sac, things like that, that are a nice, a nice single family sold house. So this bigger house here, it's a three bedroom, two bath, 2,094 square feet. So just about 2,100 square feet. It's a pretty good size overall for a three bedroom. It's a pretty good lot here also. So the lot on this on this house, you guys, it's just about a half an acre. It's 0.25 to 0.5, which it says here, it's a 0.42 acres. So just about a half acre lot. So again, another positive that we have a, a pretty large size lot overall but again we have the busy street right it's got a little bit of character to it right off the bat these are things we want to look for to make sure that's appealing to to potential buyers right we come down the driveway here Jamie and we got you know the driveway we got a retaining wall here this retaining wall is a uh, 2 by 12 retaining wall it's all pressure treated wood and stuff so that's a good thing it's that it's it's able to absorb that moisture that's coming off the hill or water and things like that looks like it's in pretty good shape overall uh, we got a, actually that's a pretty wide two car garage, you know, you see how wide that is. Always when we're walking around these houses, you guys, I always like to start around the outside of the house when I'm doing my estimate repairs. We've already got this house under contract right now. We're in escrow to purchase it here. So Roger's already done the analyzation on the on the pre-purchase side of our business. So the ARV, the comps, uh, estimated repairs, and obviously what we can buy it for. He's got a lockdown um, for us to purchase. We're already contingent and escrow on this thing here. So you guys, as we're walking through the house here, you can see the house is here but we don't really have much of a backyard yet. But if you look behind us and you see all the, the trees, the greenery, what's going on, we know we have a half acre lot according to the uh, records here, but I don't see a half, a half acre of land here that's usable to this portion of the house. And we do, it opens up a little bit here. Here we got, you know, potential for some um, grass area, some patios, things like that, right? All right, so we see a few more things down here, Jamie. So this side of the house here, we, we come around. We got a patio here with the, more of an open trellis going on and some French doors coming out of a room right there. We'll find out what that is. So we got an outdoor patio here. Again, a little bit extra uh, space. And we have a, another uh, fountain or pond looks like built into the, the natural rocks actually. So that, that can be a really cool thing to have a, um, a water feature. You know, right here into to your yard, and it creates a good ambiance, and see what we can do with landscaping here. So just a story I always tell everybody: don't ever bring a door guy with you to the to the house, okay? Or do it if you want to get in one of the two. All right, Let's see what we got here, Jamie. So on this portion of the house here, we got all the bedrooms, Jamie. So. Let's Let's look at the first bathroom here. It's like someone's done some work to this bathroom in the past, or you know, not a remodel of some sort. You can see some kind of a travertine floor to it. And we've got this tumbled uh, stone here on the wall going all the way around. A very nice vanity here. It's kind of small for this bathroom. We really like to see one a little bit longer, but it's a very nice vanity as far as the woodwork and the carvings. One of the bedrooms here, you guys. And so the homeowner typically has probably done this remodel looks like in the past. They put on the new six panel doors. They got the new casings, the new baseboards, the nice tall five inch ones, things like that. But you know, we got two different types of flooring right here. You can see this wood flooring here is different than this color. All these things like that, it's just, it's a shame. It makes it mix and match and stuff. Second bedroom and then this must be the master over here. Yep, so the master here, we got two closets. Right here, that's two point of wow. We got a bathroom here, and this, this bathroom looks to be original to the original house here, original tile. You can see this nice little uh, seashell mosaic here on the on the wall here. And it's a uh, pretty vintage, uh, it's like a, what do you call it, a genie lamp or something? It's like a genie lamp uh, uh, faucet. So the bathroom itself has a couple of good features to it. It has a separate tub, separate shower for being a master, double sinks. 
Um, the toilet's right in the middle of the floor, which is kind of odd. And then this room here is so your family, family room, here with the fireplace, kitchen, utility room in here, so it's a washer and dryer area here. Right here, it looks like we got some kind of um, atrium or aviary, right? yeah. Aviary, that's the word I was looking for. Some kind of aviary for, for birds that uh, the previous homeowner must have had.